Yes, I'm Nils Konstantin Helwig from the Chair for Media Informatics at the University of Regensburg. And I will be presenting our work on the uh, transformer-based analysis of the sentiment towards German parties on Twitter during the 2021 election year. Um, okay, um, now let's delve into the background of our study, the 20th German federal election held on September 26, 2021, um, took place amidst the challenges of the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and due to restrictions imposed during the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, social media played a significant uh, role in shaping the electoral campaign. Uh, and um, our focus is particularly on Twitter, a platform widely used in the politi political landscape for uh, communication. Uh, let's outline the key, key questions uh, that um, guided our analysis. Um, we explored the, the variation and sentiment among tweets mentioning uh, the accounts of political parties in Germany uh, using the uh, ad symbol. And our goal was to uncover whether there are differences in sentiment between various parties be, uh, being mentioned and uh, if differences emerge between opposition and government parties. And secondly, we investigated how the expressed sentiment and tweets changed throughout the election year. And finally, uh, we compared uh, the sentiment in uh, tweets posted by political party accounts to those from uh, users mentioning uh, the political party accounts, and um, this invol involved uh, drawing comparisons with the results uh, from the study by Schmidt et al. And by doing so, we aim to uh, gain insights into differences in sentiment expressed by official party communications and the uh, public discourse. Um, to make it a, li a little easier to understand, here's an example. Schmidt et al. have already analyzed the sentiment expressed by accounts of politicians and political parties, like in this example, um, Olaf Scholz. Um, um, yes, and we have now additionally analyzed tweets that mention these accounts uh, with an ad sign or uh, replying to them, as you can see down below. Um, so someone is uh, um, answering uh, to a tweet by a politician or a political party uh, account. So we did now uh, analyze um, this pers uh, perspective, perspective too. Um, moving on to the methodology, let's explore um, how we uh, built our, uh, our corpus. Um, we created a corpus containing tweets from Twitter users referencing uh, the accounts of the seven parties with a mandate in the German parliament, so the Bundestag. And the uh, ad symbol was used as a key indicator uh, for mentions. Uh, we focused on 89 accounts uh, comprising the top 10 politicians uh, accounts and the three most prominent party accounts within each of the seven parties. Um, the selection was based on follow follower account as of January 2000, uh, 2022, ensuring a representation of the most influential uh, voices uh, within each party. Uh, to capture the dynamics over the um, entire election year, we collected all tweets mentioning each of, uh, of the 89 uh, accounts for two randomly selected days per month and for uh, each account. Um, most of the tweets from the uh, from our co uh, corpus were tweets that mentioned uh, a account from the SPD, so the center uh, left party, or the CDU, the center right party, which are the uh, the major, uh, the biggest parties uh, in in Germany. And uh, both of these parties um, have, um, for both of them, uh, we have collected over two hundred thousand uh, tweets. And in total, our corpus uh, comprises uh, comprises over seven hundred thousand tweets. Um, in, in the next step, uh, we annotated 2,000 uh, randomly selected tweets from the entire corpus, and each tweet underwent uh, annotation, uh, an annotation by three independent annotators. And our annotation process included uh, assigning labels positive, negative, neutral, or mixed uh, to each tweet. And if no majority consensus uh, was reached among the annotators, or if mixed was assigned, uh, as an annotation by at, at least uh, two annotators, the tweet was excluded from our analysis and was not used for training uh, uh, the model to, to classify the tweet's uh, sentiment. Um, 
So as you can see, the majority of uh, annotated tweets have been annotated as expressing a negative sentiment. 48.8% um, uh, uh, of the tweets and only 6% uh, have been annotated as expressing a positive uh, sentiment. So there are uh, huge uh, differences. And in 2% of the annotated tweets, there was no sentiment label um, um, that was assigned by at least uh, two annotators. So uh, the label was uh, mixed and uh, they were then uh, excluded. And after we annotated our subset of uh, 2000 uh, tweets, um, we delved into uh, the fine tuning process uh, of our bird, bird model, uh, specifically using uh, German bird large by, by deep set. And the aim was to classify the sentiment expressed in the tweets. And we employed a five times five fold stratified cross validation uh, setting to ensure robustness in our model training. And the annotated data set was used for uh, training and testing. And uh, for the fine tuning process, we utilized five epochs, a batch size of 16 and a learning rate of uh, five times e to the power uh, of minus six. And we, uh, we, have, we have used uh, different training data to uh, train uh, the classifier. Initially, we only used our, uh, our own annotated examples uh, for training, but uh, in the next step, um, we added a data set, uh, so a German Eval uh, 2017, um, uh, which comprises user ratings of um, uh, of Deutsche Bahn, which is the public railway service in Germany, uh, to to the training. And uh, furthermore, we looked at whether the classification classification performance could be improved by adding. Uh, the data set from Schmidt et al. As a reminder, they introduced a data, annotated data set uh, of tweets from political parties, which was annotated with regard to uh, the sentiment expressed in these. And uh, for the last setting, we just used uh, every, every all uh, three uh, data sets. And um, as you can see, the best performance was achieved by using both the annotations by Schmidt et al. and our own annotations. Um, so an um, accuracy of 81.8% uh, 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 was uh, achieved. Um, in the next step, we used uh, the best model, so BERT2, and classified uh, the sentiment of each uh, tweet in the overall cor uh, corpus. And we, uh, as you can see, uh, the majority of uh, tweets have been classified as expressing a negative sentiment, so more than half uh, of, the, of the tweets. Um, and only a few, 9.6% um, have been classified as expressing a positive sentiment. If we, uh, Also, if we have a look uh, to uh, all, all pa parties, we can see it's quite the same for every party, uh, except the uh, AfD, which is the uh, far right party in Germany. They are even uh, over 61.88%. Uh, um, percent of the tweets that have been classified as expressing a negative sentiment. But overall, it's uh, pretty much the same for every uh, party. OK. Um, we also carried out a diachronic sentiment analysis. Um, tweets that were classified as uh, expressing a positive sentiment were assigned uh, plus one, neutral, neutral uh, tweets uh, zero, and negative tweets um, minus one. And these values were then aggregated for tweets of each month and party uh, for the election year uh, 2021. And a mean sentiment score was, cal was calculated by averaging uh, this value with the number of all tweets of that month and party, um, as you uh, can, can see here. And it, was, uh, it can be seen that the parties' uh, curves are often in sync with each uh, uh, are often in sync with each other and are constantly below uh, minus uh, 0 0.3 with only a few exceptions, uh, showing the dominant over overall negativity in the tweets that uh, uh, are mentioning political actors. And it can also be seen that the sentiment of uh, tweets worsened for all parties from January to February and from October to uh, October to November. Um, and it imp improved uh, from November to December, which can probably uh, be explained by discussions on new COVID-19 restric uh, restrictions. So, um, um, and uh, tweets mentioning the AfD, which is the, uh, the right-wing party, are the most negative uh, for 
11 months um, so always the the worst um the worst uh, sentiment uh, uh score and uh, while for six months uh, tweets mentioning the uh, fdp which is the liberal party so the, the yellow line uh, are the most positives compared to the uh, other parties um, six weeks before the election day, uh, there are only uh, small outliers, but in general, the sentiment uh, remains op uh, approximately uh, constant. Um, the tweets by election winners, SPD, uh, the, so the uh, center-left party, it's the red, uh, red line, uh, the Greens and FDP uh, were also more positive compared to the uh, other three parties, CDU, AfD, and uh, the left, which recorded uh, percentage losses. So uh, these three parties all uh, recorded percentage gains while the others uh, um, achieved percentage um, losses in the election. Okay, um, as a summary, we annotated a subset of 2000 tweets mentioning the accounts of political parties regarding their uh, sentiment and we achieved best results with the German bird model by, by DeepSet using a combination of our own annotated corpus and a previously uh, annotated uh, corpus from the same context as uh, training material. Um, the best model achieves an average accuracy of 81.8% uh, and uh, applying sentiment analysis on the overall corpus revealed that the majority of the tweets expressed negative sentiments. We investigated sentiment de developments per party and show that sentiment was driven by significant event events such as the implementation of stricter COVID-19 uh, regulations. So in a future work, we also aim to employ topic modeling to identify the discussed topics, both those addressed by political parties and the users referencing the political parties in order to explain the reasons for the occurrence of uh, changes in sentiment at uh, specific times during the uh, election year. So thank you very much for your attention. Um, our um, uh, code and other material can be found on, uh, on GitHub. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, yeah, this is uh, our related work. Uh, but okay, yes, thank you very much.